The final race before the summer break is over, and I hope you've all had your F1 fix for the time being, because now the long wait begins. With four weeks until the next Grand Prix, I'm just glad we got to see all 44 laps of the Belgian Grand Prix, which is more than Oscar Piastri can say. His lap one turn one sandwiching between Carlos Sainz and a hard place ended his race before it really started. Oscar took the incident relatively well, but Carlos Sainz was not so impressed. What the Ferrari driver had to say about the incident that led to his retirement? How does Oscar feel about it? And who was actually at fault? Let's dive right in. Oscar Piastri has made a big impression since joining the F1 grid at the start of the year. Considering how bad the MCL 60 was to begin with, he did well to score points in his third race and be in the fight for points at other races. Since McLaren upgraded his car, though, he's really had the chance to show his quality. He hasn't shown the normal over-aggressive attributes that rookie drivers often have. Instead, he's showcased some incredible passes and consistent lap times. The fact he's even getting close to Lando Norris is all the proof we need that he is a quality driver. His impressive drives have gained him as many fans as his positive yet realistic personality has. In interviews, he comes across incredibly well. He understands Formula 1 racing. He shows the maturity of a driver far more experienced than himself, and he doesn't place the blame anywhere apart from on himself. And you know what? He just seems like a really friendly guy. Not like a George Russell friendly who always looks like he's covering up some kind of horrible evil with his what the fricks and hex. You know, Remy Malik as a James Bond villain friendly. Oscar seems much more genuine than that, an Alex Albon kind of friendly. The kind of guy you'd bring home to meet your parents and they would end up liking him more than you. So when Oscar's McLaren impaled Carlos Sainz's side pod at turn one on lap one of the Belgian Grand Prix, we were gutted and I'm sure you were too. The McLaren was pinched against the inside wall, damaging its steering and ripping the side of the Ferrari's right side pod. Piastri started going very slowly on the run downhill to a Rouge and stopped later that lap. Starting in fifth, Piastri looked to make a move up the inside of Sainz, who started fourth, into the right-handed turn one. Hamilton, who'd started in third on the right side of the grid, moved from the inside to the outside to cut off Carlos Sainz, who wanted to make a move around the outside of the Mercedes. Sainz had to hit the brakes, locked up, and swung to the inside line under braking to avoid going into the back of Hamilton. While he saved Hamilton and his front wing, he instead swung right into Oscar's line, impaling his side pod on the McLaren's front left wheel and pinning Oscar against the concrete barrier that lines the apex at La Source. Oscar sounded absolutely gutted on the radio, as his car's steering was so badly damaged he couldn't make it back to the pits. I don't know what he was doing. I was there and he turned in like I didn't exist. Though the stewards took no action over the incident, Sainz said he felt the rookie should have yielded, especially given Sainz was mid-fight with Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton. He said, He attacked with Lewis and I think I pretty much had the move done into turn one. Hit the apex cleanly and everything, but unfortunately I think Oscar was trying to do a bit of an optimistic move on me, I think, and yeah, a bit of a shame because when you review the past races here in Spa, and you know what has been the typical Turn 1 incidents, it's exactly that. Everyone who tries the inside line into Turn 1 and tries to really make a round there normally generates an incident or a crash, and this time it was my turn to receive. The irony of the comment from Carlos is that he was also trying the inside line into Turn 1 and it did generate an incident. On the replay, it looks like Sainz goes too deep into Turn 1 and has to hit the brakes to avoid rear-ending Hamilton's Mercedes. Sainz insisted he didn't go deep at the corner, though he accepted he locked up and said he made perfectly the apex and passed Lewis. He said he knew Piastri was on the inside, but added, At some point, someone needs to back out, and he's the guy who is alongside my rear right that I think needs to back off and move, not me, and let him pass into turn one, especially when I'm pretty much having my move done with Lewis. On any other corner, on lap one, or on any other lap, Carlos would have been penalized for moving under braking and causing a collision, but on lap one at turn one, things can get very spicy, and concessions are made for that. While Sainz may have not been in the wrong considering the circumstances, the damage done to his side pod meant he lost 5% aero performance and eventually had to retire himself, despite Ferrari insisting he stay out for half of the race. Sainz was pretty unforgiving in his assessment of the incident, blaming Piastri's inexperience and branding the collision the rookie's mistake. 
My opinion, I've been racing in Spa 7 or 8 years, and everyone who has tried that move on the very inside has always generated an incident or a crash. If you look back at past starts here, that is normally the case. Maybe a bit of an experience mistake, but it's how it goes. I didn't expect him there, no. I did at one point see him, that he was on the wall pretty much, but I was more focused on my battle with Lewis. I didn't miss the apex or anything, I went to attack Lewis and Oscar went to attack Lewis and me, which I think in my opinion was a bit optimistic. So Carlos made the move to the right around Lewis, just assuming that Piastri would have backed off out of his own line? The move from Sainz was so late that there was no way Piastri could have backed out. As with all Turn 1 incidents, both parties could have done something different to avoid the collision. Carlos could have stuck to his line instead of the late move under braking. Oscar could have pulled out of his move earlier, anticipating that somebody would try to move to the apex instead of around the outside of the corner. Piastri said he felt the incident was quite firmly in the category of a lap 1 turn 1 incident, but said it was a shame after his sprint race podium on Saturday, finishing second behind Max Verstappen. Explaining the incident, he said, I got a good start and got my nose alongside, and then when you got to the braking zone, Carlos moved a bit to the right and locked up and I also had to try and avoid that a bit. From there to the apex, my options were quite limited on where I could go. I'll look back over it and see if there was more I could have done, but yeah, just a shame that we're standing here and not still on track. Piastri said he felt both drivers could have done things a bit differently, but he added, It's a very tight turn one. Carlos also didn't have many options from where Lewis was either, so it's a shame. In a show of maturity, Piastri resisted the urge to blame Carlos for the incident. Nonetheless, it was a disappointing end to a standout weekend for the McLaren rookie, who led his first ever laps of Formula 1 racing in Saturday's sprint and started in the top 5 on Sunday. Speaking to the media after the race, team principal Andrea Stella confirmed the extent of the damage to Piastri's car. It looks like the steering system is broken, said the McLaren team principal. I actually haven't checked myself if it's the outboard or inboard, but it's broken, and obviously there was no way to continue. I briefly took a look with Oscar at the incident, and it looks like, to be honest, Carlos kind of either didn't know that Oscar was there, or because he needed to avoid the car ahead, just drove onto Oscar and there was a wall limiting the space available. So a big shame. Moving on from who is to blame for the incident, it was a pretty disappointing end to both drivers' races. Charles Leclerc showed the pace that the Ferrari had in Belgium by finishing on the podium for the third time this season, something Carlos has yet to manage. The Spaniard and Ferrari have always insisted he isn't the second driver on the team and that he's entitled to fight Charles. Carlos has been able to consistently finish high up in the points this season, but he never manages a standout drive that makes people look up and really consider him a top driver. For Piastri, this race was a chance for him to really impress after an incredible sprint especially starting ahead of his teammate. Hindsight tells us that the McLaren, which was set up with loads of downforce in case of a wet race, didn't have the pace to compete at the front of the grid, but it still could have been Oscar's fifth points finish of the season and his fourth classification ahead of his teammate. We're sure there is still plenty to come from the Australian driver though. Now for your opinion, who was at fault for the incident at Turn 1? Was Sainz right to blame Piastri for it? Let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, drive safe and bye for now.